Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft server. I hope everybody is having a great day. I am doing fantastic today. Not only that, I've got a great episode planned for you guys. We're doing a lot of stuff today. We're making a new farm. Today is the finale of the Easter egg hunt. We're hosting Not a Little Fun Tournament. That's going to be a great time. We're talking about netherite. We're talking about stuff that XP left in our base. We got all kinds of fun stuff to do today. So I think the first thing we got to do today is we got to get cracking with this Easter egg hunt. The first thing that I personally need to do, show you the location of where I'm hiding the final eggs and then actually hide them. So let's do it guys. So it is time to start hiding the eggs. I've already hid some downstairs. So if you were to go east about 400 blocks, you will find spawn. I am in a woodland mansion near there. I thought that it would be really fun to hide the eggs in sort of a bigger central location. So inside of this place, I am going to be hiding as many eggs as I can fit in here. It's pretty obvious that the hermits are going to be running around here trying to collect as many eggs as they possibly can. So I'm trying to get them spread out and as many put in here as possible. I brought four stacks with me. I have no idea how many I'm actually going to hide though, but this is going to be fun. So the game plan here is to hide the eggs throughout this mansion, all three floors. I've went through and a mob proofed it pretty much as best as I can. Uh, now, if they do run into some mobs, that would be unfortunate. Hopefully nobody dies, but this should be a super fun time, guys. I think uh, I really think the hermits are going to enjoy this. I'm trying to make some of them easy, trying to make some of them hard. You know how it goes, but I'm going to get back to it. And when we come back next time, I'll be with them uh, explaining the rules. Hello, fellas. How you doing? Good. Doing good. good. Hey, good. Yeah, doing awesome. Really good. Awesome. I've gathered you here today to get the results of the egg hunt finished and declare a winner. You know, I was kind of happy just to split the prize, but apparently we gotta we gotta do more eggs. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> nope. I enjoy their content. I'm happy to hunt for some yeah. more. So your no goal... sharing. No, no sharing allowed. No sharing. <laughs> so your goal today is to raid this woodland mansion. There are two, roughly two stacks of golden eggs, which I've thrown on the ground here. Ooh. No, you Ayo. can't have it green. Mm-mm. <sighs> Mm-mm. And so you will have five minutes to run through there and find as many eggs as you can. Is that Are we seem... allowed to break blocks on our way? Are we no, allowed to No, you're not allowed to break no? blocks. Oh, okay. Bad, so bad. We've got can we, can we break in? Entrance. Can we break in to get in there? Duh, their door is right up there. You'll be fine. <laughs> it's just right in the right literally in front of us. Hypno go upstairs. Oh, he did go upstairs. Oh. So there's still one more level. There was a lot downstairs and upstairs. So there's Hypno, there's Grian. Oh, here's Grian. He's looking around. So dope. Is he going to find the other one? Oh, he ran right past it. Oh my God. No, no, no. I can't believe he ran right past that one. Let's check on X. Okay. So there are approximately three, two and a half minutes left to the contest. So where's Hypno running to? Okay. Trying to keep up with all these is so hard. Oh my God. And then X. Okay, let's hover over to Grian. Okay. Oh, there's another, wow, there's, they're missing them. They're going so fast that they're not seeing all of them. There's four in this room. You think he's gonna get the other ones? Is he gonna get it? Did he see it? I don't think. Oh, no. Did he see it? He did see it. He definitely. Oh, <laughs> there's one in that room, too. Oh, God. Okay. So um, there's some. Okay. He found that one. And there's some down here still. Okay. Let's check on the other members. Let's go to Hypno. Hypno is still looking. Let's go to X. X just found another one. Did he, he didn't see the other one in the corner over there, though. All right. So we're on to the final minute and a half. Actually, it would be one minute. So here in about 30 seconds. Okay, people are making all sorts of noise. Okay, let's type in chat. One minute. All right. 30 seconds left, actually about 50 seconds. I lied, I'm a filthy liar. 
so is there i'm still seeing eggs in some rooms but i'm guessing that they've gotten majority of them there's one and there's another one i think they're running around so fast that they're missing them but there's still definitely some to be found i think those late game points are gonna be where the money's at man all right so when the clock uh we've got about 20 seconds left let's go all right so 30 uh 15 seconds there we go 15 seconds so let's see five four three two one all done please head out so final eight counts guys let's I see don't, i don't want to brag but uh, i think i've done quite well you think so yeah you go yeah, first I think, then i think so no 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 i'll go last i'll go last all right, all right okay you guys want to i got uh, 200 me? 200 oh wow that's you know quite that's a bit for how good, many yeah. <laughs> yeah. isn't that isn't that more than Jeff <laughs> more than the, what was in the game, game? <laughs> i got 28 28 okay very very Is that fair. good okay what'd you get him to i ended up with a total of 30. okay oh dang agree and i got a total of 50 eggs oh wow. my wow. god 50, <laughs> 50 eggs <laughs> that's mental Dude. you know what's crazy when i was watching you green i saw you miss multiple eggs too so doesn't matter speed is key speed, speed is key. key all right well congratulations <laughs> green you are the yeah, winner congrats, dude. of 19 <laughs> diamond blocks and four what? nether ride ingots so what? that's all right, come here fellas dude. come here fellas no 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 i wanted to share this from the start so uh -huh. here we go uh how do i split this three ways Splitsies. like that one for you Oh, thank you very much. How generous. Are, are you oh, keeping wow. another right? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. One. Like, yeah, that's mine. That's mine. <laughs> two. I oh, know. I'll keep the two. So okay. there's there's two for me and one each for you. Awesome. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. Very generous. Thank you. I appreciate yeah, thanks, the time dude. today, guys. I had a great time with this event, and uh, maybe next year we'll do another one. Who knows? Yeah. Hey, thanks for setting this up, Joe. <laughs> All right. Anyways, congrats, Green. I and then take it easy, everybody. Bye. Bye, bye bye i am so happy with how the easter egg hunt turned out and the final showdown even more everything went so smoothly man i'm happy about it so with that being said i've actually got another event in mind this one will be much further down the line though just because it's going to take time to prep not only that but i am moving irl not in game not not yet in game at least we do have mega base plans and you know all that good stuff but i am moving in the month of may from basically the start of may to about the 15th is when the movers are coming and then the last part of may is going to be taking time to fix my old apartment up and get it ready to turn back into the to the apartment manager so it's going to be a very busy may <clears throat> so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a preliminary schedule up on the screen right now of when videos are going to be coming out the first part of the month is going to be much busier than the second part so i should be able to get back to regularly scheduled content after the middle of the month is over not only that but i am actually on call for jury duty for all of may it's terrible timing right terrible timing so may is going to be an interesting month uh but anyways point being this one to let you guys know if i'm not like active in the comment section that's why so anyways, before we go ahead and move on to the next part of our video today, I noticed that there was an Octo Drop token in a chakra box here. Let's go ahead and read this because I don't know what this is. So this is from XB and we have some slow fall potions in there. Uh, you are hereby challenged to master Octo Drop. Located in the mini submarine at the giant octopus, your three slow fall potions and payment for your first attempt are included. Welcome to Opto Octo Drop. The goal: slow fall through as many rings as you can and land in a bullseye, triggering the fireworks. Red rings are worth two points. All the other ones are worth one. Rules: No elytra. One diamond per run. Max of three runs per player. Must land in the bullseye. You will know if you land on it. High high scoring run counts and should be added to this book. Take the bubble elevator to the top, drink the potion, one per potion per run. After three weeks, the hermit with the best run will receive all the diamonds paid to Octo, Octo Drop plus a bonus. In case of a tie, 
If two or more people get high scores, Scar has requested Top Gun style combat. I'm down with that. The game opens April 16th and will end on May 7th. XB's score is 13. Interesting. I've never never heard of that game until now. I'm I'm assuming it wasn't open until now. Either way, that sounds like something we're going to have to do. Now, one more update we got to do before we move on to the next part of the video. Let's get some Debra updating. So as you guys know, I recently made tools and armor out of netherite. Well, I'm going to show you a clip right now showing you this one. This is our backup tools and armor box. Totally netherite it out. I'll show you that clip now. Oh my god, he's so pro. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, we will. Ew. I know Hypno. The proiest. I go end rating a lot, guys. That's why I have so much diamond gear. Fuckers. What's up, thing? And again, I die a lot, so. Kind of beautiful. So yes, I've uh, grinded back up tools and armor. So now that I can actually start on the netherite beacon and one other update. Now it takes actually 5,904 ancient of Debras. Yes, they're Debras to complete a netherite beacon. In terms of chest storage, one chest, two chests, one line and three. This last one needs to be 16, not 64. So all of my placeholder ancient debris is set. I just got to fill it up. So we got all season to do that. I'm not in any rush, but I'm going to grind because I want to. So now that we're done with all the updates, it is time to move on to our next project. That project is going to be an iron farm. I'm going to be building the iron farm that I built in my Let's Play world because I pretty much love that iron farm. I made some improvements to it. It's going to be a good time. I'm going to hop into a time lapse and get the, the base build done. So I'll meet you over there. Somewhere. So everything for the iron farm is good to go, except for the like hardest things possible. You always leave the hardest stuff for the end anyways. So I've got to get four zombies up here. They've got to be named. 
and I've got to move my 12 villagers up into the farm. First, I want to show you the redstone updated the, from the Let's Play to this. So before we were just using those basic signals, which just has a torch that runs into repeaters that makes like a delayed signal for up and down. This makes them all function on the same signal. So the, the farm is like kind of universal now uh, and then it's like naturally synced. So with that being said, I do have a plan for what I want to do with the villagers and moving them up here. The easiest way to get the villagers up here is going to be to use water canals. So to do that, I'm going to throw a lava bucket over top of a block and then let that flow all the way down to the bottom of the world. Now that the lava has reached the ground, I need to remove this. Wait a few seconds and voila. We are now going to make our own water tunnel, which we can fill and then source with the kelp that I've got in my inventory. I'll need to go get more kelp or grab some bone meal, one or the other. It should be pretty straightforward either way. Now that this is done, I will be able to move my villagers up here. I will need to make some sort of custom pathway for them though. This is gonna be the most annoying part because I think they're getting zombies up this water canal and into the, the furnace. Wow, words, apparently they're hard to use. <laughs> getting the zombies up here and into their custom spots should be pretty straightforward. Awesome, okay, so we can remove this, get rid of the dirt, place that there, and then put that down there. And then at the bottom of the world, we are good to go. So our our bubble elevator is now basically finished. Just got a few little things to finish it up and I'm gonna get working on moving the villagers. So I'm about to show you guys how I'm getting zombies into my iron farm. It's actually pretty straightforward and almost easy sometimes. We'll see how it goes. So first thing I gotta do here, get the zombie in the mine cart, which is actually pretty easy to do. He kind of just walks right into it a lot of the times, all right? Now that he's in the minecart, he'll go up the water elevator. Same with me. The zombie is up to the top of the water elevator. We got to get this guy out of here. But first, let's make sure he cannot escape because they will take any pathway they can get their hands on because they're jerks. So follow me, good sir. We're going to go over to the place with the thing and do the thing with the thing on the thing. That's very descriptive. Okay, let's uh, fill this in really quickly. Put that right there. I'm going to put a trap door here so that I can cross by, but uh, he is almost here. Is he, uh, he, uh, he might not jump in. Okay. So I think the first thing we should do here is wait for him to walk back. All right. I actually think what I'll do is just put a trap door in. There we go. I should have just put the trap door in first. All right. So zombie number two is now named and in the farm. Let's get rid of that and put this here. Boom, number two done, two of four. Let's get the rest of them. So I have been AFK at my creeper farm for about 30 minutes. So we've done a rough test of our iron golem farm. I watched the farm in a spectator account just to make sure that it was running pretty smoothly and everything went really well. For the most part, we got a lot of drops. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what we got. I'm pretty excited about it. So, all right, that's, I would say for a 30 minute test, that's pretty darn good. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stacks. So eight times 64 is 512 plus nine. There we go. So 521 um, iron per 30 minutes. So let's times that by two. That gives us a thousand and forty two for our irons farm our iron farms first test for an hour long that is quite amazing i'm pretty happy with that considering the fact that this farm is gonna more or less just be something that we afk at and it's kind of like a side project and this thing is stackable if we need to make it stackable which is awesome very happy with the results i've got a bunch of iron in here too um but yeah, overall, very happy with the farm. Let me know what you guys think about it. So we're gonna do the Octo Drop today before we end the episode. So we're gonna head over there now. So it is time for me to try Octo Drop. Not gonna lie, I already did two runs. Totally forgot that I had my Elytra on. Whoops. So I will have to avoid that score out when I go back downstairs. Didn't even realize it. I do wanna read the rules real fast though. So one diamond per run, max three runs. So this is my third run. Um, Everything else seems 
pretty straightforward. All right, so I will have to edit my score because my score was not as gonna be not as gonna be as good as it was. All right, let's do it. So no Elytra. I guess it doesn't really matter. One. I'm gonna go there. Two. Three. Four. Six. Uh, I actually don't think I can make that one. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. All right, nailed it. I think my score is actually better. Huh, I don't know, let's go check. Cause I forget what I put for my score last time, but 12 is my new score. I don't know if mine was any better than before. So yeah, I would have showed you the other runs, but it's kind of irrelevant since I had my Elytra on. So what did I put in here? I put in 11. Okay, well 12 is even better. So I uh, will say that's a winner winner chicken dinner. I really had a good time playing this game. It's unfortunate that we can only do three runs per player. <laughs> Maybe we'll play like unofficially or something, but uh, yeah, fun time, fun time. I don't know who actually made this game. I'm guessing Corrales did. Either way, really fun stuff. Um, but guys, I do think that that is probably gonna take care of this episode. So as I mentioned, guys, these next few episodes, they're gonna be maybe a little light on the content, but that's just literally because I'm moving. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the Easter egg hunt today and the new iron farm, which does pretty well for itself. And by the way, Foss finished up her portion of the bridge of the boardwalk. It looks amazing. Look at this. I love it. Oh, it's so good. She's such a great builder. I love the roof. It's it's awesome. Anyways, I hope you guys all have a great day. If you liked the video, consider subscribing. This is Ijevin. Peace out, everybody.